In this video, I'm going to talk about the art of truly enjoying a woman. So much so that it polarizes her and pulls her in. And most guys get this completely wrong. They actually cause women to run the other direction. I know I used to. So let's get started. But before I do, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of our awesome videos that are coming out. This year, I'm going to be putting a lot more energy into the channel because we're not doing any workshops. So I want to make sure I give you exactly what you want and create a ton of value for you. And I don't want you to miss any of it. So with that said, let's dive in deeper. The art of enjoying a woman. It's a very simple process, but most guys totally get it wrong. Most guys don't get this. Matter of fact, some of the best seducers in the world were phenomenal at enjoying women. They were so good at it, it polarized and pulled women in. And uh, most guys like myself early on, when we tried to enjoy women, well, we pushed them away. What do I mean by that? How did I push women away? Let's take a look at that first. Well, it was simple. I would lean in so much or I'd pull back because I was scared of getting rejected that I was not really enjoying a woman. I was pretending to enjoy the woman or I was faking it or I was hiding my true enjoyment. You see, true enjoyment of a woman comes from confidence and courage and vulnerability. Vulnerability means you have an open heart. Your, 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 your courage is a vulnerable open heart in the face of something that has tension in it, in the face of something that is difficult or challenging. That is true courage and that's sexy. But most guys don't do that. Most guys have no clue how to do that. They're terrified to do that. They don't want to get their heart broken. So what they do instead is they walk up to women and they'll say something like, hi, you know, you're really pretty and I just wanted to, you know, tell you, you see if I get your number, maybe we can go out sometime. And they're pulled back, they're nervous, they're not fully committed, they're not fully enjoying the woman. Maybe they enjoyed the woman from across the room when they looked at her and saw her and they were like, damn, she's hot. And then they walked over and they went, wow, you know, you're really pretty and I just wanted to say hi to you. And can you see how the conversation in his head didn't match what he actually said and the way he was being when he walked up? That's a huge piece. And, uh, and I used to do this all the time. I would be half one foot in, one foot out. So am I really enjoying her when I do that? Or am I spending more time protecting my own ego so I don't get hurt? Am I more worried about what she thinks of me than I am enjoying her? I'm not really giving her a compliment at that point. I'm kind of half giving her a compliment and half saying, you know, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. And that's not very sexy, is it? You see, the true art of enjoying a woman is simple. Now, there's something I got from Zan Perion. He's a good friend of mine. I love Zan. Did a lot of studying of how Zan does his stuff. And because I wanted to bring it into Fearless and add my grounding element to it, and put the two together so it polarizes. And Zan, when he he wrote this in his book, The Alabaster Girl, which you should definitely read if you haven't read it. Um, and it's, it's something simple. He said, a man is in his heart. A man looks for all the ways she can impress him. A man seeks to maximize the way she appears in his eyes. A man wonders what he thinks of her. A man asks, what is beautiful about this woman before me? A man asks over and over again, do I like her? Do I like her? Now think about that for a minute. You could say that's selfish. The nice guy in me a long time ago would think that's selfish. I'm making it all about me. But that's what you have to do to enjoy another human being. It should be all about, do I like this human being in front of me? And if I truly do, and the answer answers truly yes, I've got to be completely authentic with my response. And that's how you really enjoy a woman. It's not like, it's not like, yeah, I like her. Now I'm going to put on a fake facade and pretend to be somebody else. Or she's pretty, and so if I get her validation, I'm gonna feel good about myself, which is what most guys do. Like they see a hot chick, and they're not even thinking about how do I make her feel special? They're thinking about how do I get her to like me, validate me, so I feel special. You see, a really solid guy that is enjoying a woman isn't worried about what she thinks of him. He's unattached to outcome. He's free from outcome. He's more deciding, do I like her? And if I like her, what's the most authentic thing I can say to her? If I enjoy her, what's the most real thing I can say to her? How can I express my appreciation of her feminine beauty, her, 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 her sexiness, her wildness, her vibrancy in a way that's authentic and real and completely vulnerable? Like I'm ripping my heart open saying, yeah, this is me. And, and you know what? If you reject me, I can handle it. If you, if you accept it, I can handle it because I'm a man. That's the honest truth. That's true courage. 
Anything less than that is you holding back and the women feel the difference and they, they he's holding back or he's not fully there. So if I walk up and I'm like, well, you're, you know, you're really, I'm going to, I'm going to say almost exactly the thing I saw in New York once. I watched this guy. He's trying to work up the courage to walk up these two beautiful Asian women having drinks at, at a restaurant and they were laughing and giggling and they were in their feminine, they're having a great time. So he comes sauntering over slowly and I could see him from across the room and he gets closer and closer and he finally goes, uh, excuse me. You see how he's holding back? He's not fully committed. I just, you don't mean to bother you, you know, but I just want to tell you, you ladies look very beautiful today and, and, you know, just wanted to, uh, ask how you're doing and, and, you know, if you'd like to join us, we, we'd love to have you come over. And do you feel the apology for the approach? Do you see how he's more concerned about what she thinks of him? And then she rejected him. Of course, they giggled. They laughed at him a little bit because he was being he, he was being so nervous. They had to release that tension. And then he walked away and, and felt rejected. Well, he could have approached that situation in a completely different way. If he had grown some bigger balls and stepped into his courage, and got really honest with himself, he would have looked at them and said, what do I feel about these women before me? What do I, what do I, what, uh, open his heart, got vulnerable. That's the first thing Zan said, a man is in his heart and got vulnerable and got real. And he was said, ah, oh, damn, I, I love how, you know, how, how feminine they both are. I'm, I'm thinking about, I have to think of it in my terms. I was trying to think of it in his terms. I'm gonna put it in my terms. They were feminine, they were vibrant, they were full of life. They were giggling and having a great time. And honestly, to, they were kind of sexy. So these are things that I was noticing, right? So I could walk over and go, you know, you ladies are very attractive. I wanted to say hi, but that's not the truth of what I was feeling, right? It's kind of the truth. And I could own that statement to some degree, but I got to find the words that most fit who I am. So now I walk over to the table and if I'm going to walk over, instead of half-assing it, like I'm going to put one toe in the water, I'm going to jump in the water. You know, that's the goal. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be all over the top of them, but I'm going to fully commit. What I mean by jumping in the water is fully commit to owning my words and feeling everything and commit to the interaction. So I walk over and I'm like, hi ladies. And I'm going to ground right here into the ground. I'm going to feel the earth beneath you. I'm going to look right at them. I'm going to look right into their eyes. You know, be direct because that's what masculine is. And then I'll say something to the effect of, you know, I saw you from over there. I'm going to look right at the camera because I'm looking at the notes. I saw you from over there and I just had to come say hi. You ladies are so full of life. You're so vibrant. Man, you honestly, you're just being really sexy right now. And you pulled me right over. Do you feel the difference in the way I'm communicating? It's it's big time different, right? And I'm owning my words now. Now, maybe I don't have the courage to say sexy yet, but as long as I fully own the interaction, I could do it. I could walk over. I could be like, ladies, I had to come over here and say, ah, you ladies are so full of life and so vibrant. And uh, it's beautiful. Pulled me right over, <laughs> you know, and then she'll laugh and giggle and, and I'll hold that eye contact with her. And you see that, that you got to own your conversation. You got to really figure out what you're enjoying about this human being in front of you. Now, that's very different than if you're doing an approach with a woman that you're not sure about. Maybe you see her. You're not sure if you like her. You want to find out. And you can still fully own that conversation too. You can still approach her, but you're not gonna walk over and go, damn, I have something about you, you're so beautiful. I had to come meet you, look at you. It's, it's too much because you don't mean it inside. What you could do is say, hey, you know, I saw you from over there and there was just something about you. I had to come say, hi, what's your name? Or how about, hi, I saw you from over there and I really just wanted to say hi. That's really real if you own it. But what most guys do, they're half in, half out. Hey, you know, don't mean to bother you. Or they're leaning in too much. This is the other one. Hi, uh, I just want to say hi. What's your name? And they're pushing, pushing, pushing. You know, where are you from? What are you doing? No, it's feel the ground beneath you. Feel your feet, feel your legs, feel your gut. And then open your heart and be like, hi. There is something about you. I had to come meet you. That grounding element mixed with the heart and the vulnerability. And if you can add more truth to your words, then that's that much better. Okay. And I'm going to give one story to demonstrate the truth to the words part. Um, I was at a convention once and there was beautiful women everywhere. We we're all dancing. I believe we had a white party going on. And there was this woman I had noticed and she was so damn sexy. And a little while later, I saw her take off her heels and she was holding her heels in her hand. It's late in the evening. I was getting, uh, women were starting to go home and she looked really good. 
And, uh, and I remembered my buddy, I always remember my buddy who's a physiotherapist, physical therapist, uh, he's from England. He said, you know, the reason women wear the high heels is to lift their ass, it makes their ass look so good. And he says it hurts their feet, but I so appreciate it uh, when they wear the heels because it, it really does make their ass stand out. He would say that. And I remembered that and I was looking and she took the heels off because her feet were hurting, obviously. And I thought about this and I was laughing inside and I was, I found myself really appreciating the fact that she wore those heels. She wore that dress. She looked so sexy that night. She looked so beautiful. And without thinking, I just kind of walked over and I said, oh, your feet are hurting, huh? And she, and she goes, yeah, it's been a long night. And I go, well, I really appreciate you wearing those heels. And she goes, why? And I said, and I, I, I'm paraphrasing. I can't remember exactly what I said, but, and I said, and she said, why? And I said, because it makes your ass look so amazing. And, uh, and I know how much it hurts your feet at the end of the night too. Something like that. And she lit up immediately. We exchanged phone numbers. We were giggling. We were laughing. We we're having a good time. She loved it. And it's because I was real. Now you guys all know Anthony, right? The fearless man, Anthony, definitely check out his YouTube channel. If you haven't, he, the first time he went out, I was watching him grow and he was changing a lot. And he'd reached this point where he had become pretty damn good at staying in his body, being grounded with women, being solid with women. So I challenged him. I wouldn't challenge somebody new that was nervous and pulled back, but I challenged him at this point to go up to a woman that he found really sexy and be honest with her and tell her how sexy she is, how hot she was, you know, a little bit more than I just wanted to meet you. And cause I felt, you know, with his presence and where he was at, he could pull it off. Well, he was terrified. And he, I remember him going, he went to a grocery store and there was a woman in the grocery store and he loves yoga pants and flip flops and all this. And there was this woman in yoga pants and he sees her and he's like, damn, she looks good in those yoga pants. And now almost shaking, because he's nervous, but he wants to be completely real and honest and own his, he's doing this for himself. I'm gonna own my confidence because this is what I authentically feel about this woman in front of me. And I'm gonna be totally real with her. And I'm not gonna hide any of it. And he walked over to her and he said, you know, I just had to stop you really quick because, and he was shaking and he was nervous and he's, you look so damn sexy in those yoga pants. Oh my God, it's, it's incredible. And she lit up, she loved every bit of it. Anthony nailed it. He was ready for that. He was able to hold that tension, even though he was shaking and he was nervous, his, his confidence, his consciousness showed up through the nervousness and it changed his reality forever. He became an approach machine after that. And he fell in love with approaching because he realized the power of being authentic, real, vulnerable, and enjoying a woman. Um, so again, what do you like about women? I'm going to give you a simple exercise. Go out every day and ask yourself, what do I like about this woman? Why do I like this woman? If I was to adjust one thing, how could I make her even sexier in my eyes? Um, how can I maximize the way she appears in my eyes? You know, how does she make me feel? and Where do I feel it? You know, just ask yourself these different questions that get you into enjoying her and look, feel the core of your body and feel where you, you enjoy her in your heart. Wow, there's something beautiful about the way you move. Do you enjoy her in your turn on? Damn, that's sexy. And if you get heart and turn on together, that's even better. All turn on is a little too much. Um, and really begin to notice where you're feeling in your body and give her the gift of letting her see you feel that. This doesn't mean you can't tease. You can't say no, you can't set boundaries, you can't play coy, you can't come up giving a compliment and then back up a little bit and pull your energy back if it's getting to be too much. It just means that when you get authentic and real, it can have a powerful polarizing effect. And the more you practice this and understand this, the better it will work for you, okay? So I uh, hopefully you like this video. Uh, definitely comment below. I want to hear your comments. I want to know what you want more of as I'm creating more of these videos. I'm having fun with them. I want to really go deeper this year, uh, especially since we're not doing any live programs. Uh, if you want to um, learn more about what I do, check out my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. It has a lot of these embodiment principles in it. I think there's about eight of them, at least eight of them in that book, where I talk about different ways that you can play with embodiment to be more attractive. And uh, we'll put a link in that in, in, to that video here somewhere. And also make sure to check out my last video that I did on the basic steps that make you attractive when you're talking to a woman. Uh, this video I covered enjoyment specifically, which is one of those steps. So make sure to check that video out. It's somewhere, it's gonna be linked somewhere in here. With that said, make sure to like, subscribe, share, make sure to comment, like I said, and remember only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.